Hello everyone, welcome back to Shanti Fine Arts. Today we are going to paint this uh, watercolor painting of a forest and woods. I had uh, recently been camping in the Brown County State Park in, in Indiana and uh, obviously the summer, colorful summer woods inspired me to draw and paint. So there is the product uh, which is a watercolor in, uh, and I'm going to guide you very step by step um, in this tutorial to create a forest or woods painting in watercolor. You can change it a little bit here and there and it can be um, a very pretty woods or you can just paint it as it is. I'm going to show you good tricks and techniques and tips. and. Uh, so without much ado, we'll go into the painting, but I will share a few key tips at the beginning. Um, when I sketch, the, sketch out any watercolor or acrylics, I use a water-soluble graphite pencil so that when I come back with my brush and watercolor, then the pencil lines are not visible anymore. I think that is that makes the painting look very good if the painting pencil lines are not visible and that's just my opinion if you like pencil lines well go ahead and uh, use ordinary graphite and um, as usual I am asking you to like comment and subscribe and feel free to share the video if you do not subscribe you might miss on the upcoming videos so please hit that button down there and subscribe and uh, thank you very much for watching. I am starting off with a very pale yellow, demarking the areas that I want to be the light coming through, showing through the trees. So, and uh, I'm bordering those light areas with slight blue and gray and brown to kind of uh, block in the entire paper and designate where the trees are going to be where the ground is going to start i'm just sketching out at this point the basic structure now i will you will see that i will slowly build on layer after layer and i'll start on with the lightest of greens i have so much water and very little paint so much so that you can barely see any color happening and paint is dripping all over but you have to somehow get control of how much the paint can drip and um, it is okay if the paint drips through the pale yellow lights because some of it would anyways be covered by tree trunks but you want some of the yellow light to show through as well as you can see i am slowly adding more and more darker greens at this point i am actually using less green and more blue to sketch out the farthest layer of trees now i'm blocking in the very front layer of trees and just positioning them into areas there is a lot of defining that will go on what throughout the painting now again i'm adding another layer and you have to be very careful um, and look closely to the reference photo to build layers such that some of the trees look very far away and those are the ones that would be very light and as you come closer to the viewer the trees are going to get darker and darker as you see the trunks that I'm drawing in front are already much darker than the ones that are at the very back and again I will darken everything in several more layers and at this point all I'm doing is I am paying close attention to my reference photo and just blocking in where the trees are going to be where the shrubs are going to be where the path is going to be where the grass is going to be and later I'll keep on defining and that is why it is very important to start very very light in color and slowly build up the dark because once you have made it dark in watercolors it is very hard to go light it is easier to do the otherwise so try not to go too dark too early 
so as you can see I'm still kind of adding in more layers now I am adding in some grass tall grass and tall shrubs in the very front which kind of got cropped in the video because of the positioning of the camera but you can still get an idea now I'm slowly defining the grassy area or the ground area and as I'm doing that I'm kind of jumping all over the painting to kind of make sure that everything um, gels along with each other it's not that one area of the painting uh, is very different from other area of the painting at the same ground level so the areas that are farther away should be more or less at the same color level the same darkness the same depth and colors more or less now I am adding a little purple brown color in the very and in the trunk that is the closest to my eyes or the viewers eyes and on this one as well I will add several more layers and if you will see that where I have left this painting where I'm calling it done you can still define and redefine it multiple more times and spend a couple more hours and obviously if you spend more time at that point it will get better but it's uh, just preference where you want to call it done and I decided to stop at that point I didn't want to adulterate it anymore I'm adding some shading to the very front layer of grass keeping on defining the grass painting in some of the ones that are very close to the viewers eyes however the ones that are far farther away are just hint the texture and not try to add in the detail now you will have to pay close attention to where it will be dark and where it will be light depending on what reference photo you have because as you can see that there is a background yellow light and a light shining through the woods and the trees from the top and the back so some of the areas will definitely light up and some areas will be darker some trees would be much darker and some trees will have shadows at certain areas so pay very close attention to the reference photo in this case at least that is what <coughs> the key idea about realistic uh, painting is you have to kind of have a reference photo and try to go by it as much as possible i was partly going by my camping pictures and partly um, uh, referring to my memories as I was just painting the day after my memory was still very fresh but I still had some reference photo to refer to which is always a good idea if you are painting realistic style as you can see I am keeping on adding textures and details depending on how far or near it is and you will see that I'm kind of adding a little bit darker uh, shadows close to the path however I am not bothering the entire area because that will look very much like a one a painted in an animation and we don't want that animated look we want a realistic look so I would want um, the bushes rubs on, on the ground around the path a little bit darker but not outline them completely so be a little bit careful about those areas keep on adding darks till you reach the level of satisfaction where you think that you know the farthest is less dark the nearest is more dark you have to have to kind of pay attention to that while I'm saying that I have to also mention that the front tree might look a little bit lighter than the one at the back that is because there are different kinds of trees and obviously all trunks have a different kind of bark and texture and because of the bark and texture they have lighter and darker colors so yes um, the trees at the back would be lighter and less defined and the front would be darker and more defined but more than lighter and darker 
I would stress on defined and less defined. Now I am adding some branches and sticks in the front and I'm trying to make the background dark so that the branches kind of show through the background. And obviously I'll still have to do it in multiple layers because a single layer is not going to work. Still adding darks and shadows. At this point, um, you will see that at the very beginning of the painting, I was using a lot more water. Water was running down all over the painting, but at the very end, I'm using very little water. And there you have the complete painting. Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, and subscribing.